Now in the first example of event driven programming, we'll see few worksheet events. Now let's say we want to change the background color of a cell uh, when you enter some value uh, out of the color index values we have. So here on the right side you can see a chart which are the HTML uh, color index palette. So you can see here one is for black. Uh, these are actually the index values of these colors. It is for cyan and then 15 is for gray and then 29 is for purple so on and so forth. So you want that when you enter any number in a cell and hit enter that cell would get a color uh, a background color set according to the value. If I use 4 it should be green. Similarly if I use 27 it should be yellow. If I use 3 it should be red. So this uh, logic you want to implement. Let us first uh, clear the pre-written uh, sub procedure we have here and let us uh, clear this all by making it no fill and delete the values and uh, so you can see here I want this operation to be performed only in this range so we need to uh, write our logic accordingly so for that you can see I was only changing the values of the cells so the changing value of a cell is actually a worksheet related event and we were talking about sheet 1 so we will go to here in our workbook sheet 1 and here we need to put the right event which is change event it is not a selection change event but a change event because we are changing the value we are not just changing the selection All right so here we have a target which will be telling us which cell we are currently on I want this operation to be performed here only in this range okay and I want only uh, let's say let's say uh, for the time being I do not want to limit to a range but I want uh, this operation uh, uh, to be performed only for these values for example if user enter 57 nothing should happen and if a user enter below 1 nothing should happen so for that I can say if target dot value is greater than equal to 0 and target dot value is less than equal to 56 in that case do something now what we want to do we want to change the background color of the target itself so target dot interior to change the background you have a property interior dot color index and you want to change it to the value which you are entering there so target dot value so now here I put 3 as a value of the cell and I want this to be the color index so when I enter 3 3 comes here 3 is greater than 0 3 is less than 56 target dot interior dot color index target is my cell number uh, G14 so in cell 14 uh, G14 the interior color index is set to the value of that cell which is 3 so therefore it background color is changed to red you can see here in the chart similarly if you do 10 here it will change the background color of that cell only so that's all about this example we'll see another example in the next tutorial